Martina Alster. I'm in my laser suite with my Pico Way laser, and I'm going to be treating my patient here who's in her 20s, got a tattoo on her back. Actually, she has a couple of tattoos, but the one on her back really bothers her. She got it eight years ago, and we're now doing her third laser treatment. She's actually waited a long time in between because she works for a living. She doesn't have time to come in every week to have this done. Typically, though, I do like people to wait at least a month in between anyway. Between the two laser treatments that we did on her, she's done some really nice improvement of her tattoo. And so how I prepare the tattoo um, is putting on a topical anesthetic cream, which we can use alone, or in her case, because this is in a sensitive area in her back, we're going to actually um, use an injectable um, lidocaine. And so we're gonna do that now. Uh, I'm gonna be using some ice to kind of let her know where we're going. That, that's a little shocking, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna just get started here with a little injection here. Hang in there, one, two, three, good job. A little stingy. I always like to pat the skin a little bit to take their mind off of it. She's like thinking, no, this is not helping at all. You okay? Uh-huh. All right, good. And we use that first area to just do another. So I finished numbing up the area with some anesthetic injections, and I'm now going to use the Pico Way laser to treat this tattoo. Now she had multicolors in there, and the first time I treated her, we used two different wavelengths, one that treated the red and the yellow ink, and another one that treated the blue-black. The red and yellow ink really only takes one or two treatments in order to really lighten it up, and you can barely see red or yellow inks in there now. So I'm going to use the 1064 nanometer wavelength. We're all set to go as soon as I press it in the ready state. Hopefully I haven't talked too long, and then we'll be set to go. I usually, even though she's numbed up, it always makes me feel better to have some ice in the other hand that helps me to kind of provide traction on the skin. And we're going to do several in a row here. She probably won't feel this at all, but what I'm looking for is this ash white tissue effect on the skin. I hope that you can see it, but that's exactly what we're after. It shows me that I have um, gone in and targeted the tattoo ink very nicely. You don't want to see any bleeding. You don't want to see any blistering. You don't want to see ink flying all over the place. You don't want to see smoke all over the place. That would not be good. But this ash white tissue response that we're getting shows me that we're right at the correct level for getting rid of her tattoo. And then this will actually turn just a little bit red over the next um, few hours and she'll put on some uh, ointment, healing ointment on the air area and cover with a bandage just once a day. It usually takes anywhere between three days and upwards of a week in order to get it to heal. Um, and then it fades out over the next several weeks. So I don't plan to see her back for a minimum of a month and in her case because she's busy outside of this office. She's going to come back in anywhere between two and five months and we'll see where she's at and do it again. Okay, so here's the end of the treatment. We're almost there. She's been doing so well. We've covered the whole area. We're all set there. Let me just put this in standby and then we'll go ahead and take these fancy glasses off and I'm going to put on some uh, Aquaphor, just any type of uh, ant either antibiotic or even Vaseline to keep it nice and moist makes sense. I guess I should use a little Q-tip here to make it look nice. You can use your gloved finger as well. She's good. She was napping there. She, can't. she didn't get a very long nap though. And then we're going to put on this non-stick bandage. I like these Telfa pads because they have adhesive on the side. I can just peel this off with a little adhesive on either side. It's a non-stick bandage, so boom, you can put it right on here. And she's all set to go. Until the next time.